sto registrando. Certo. <ride> Avevi detto di no. Italian gestures. Piri 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 No, guarda, un incubo. Logorroico, pesante. Cioè... E poi un troglodita. Remember, you can find our album Winterbane as well as this t shirt on our official store frozencrown.bigcartel.com. The only way to have this signed by the whole band. Link in the description. Embrace the Night is the first song on the album and it was meant to be an opener. I had in mind songs like Seven Sign by Ingrid J. Malmsteen or Be Quick or Be Dead by Iron Maiden. Embrace the Night is not the typical song you are expecting for Frozen Crown. It's so much more aggressive and this mood gave me the inspiration for the lyrics. When life throws bad things on you, you don't have to be afraid or to be scared. You have to embrace them and use them at your advantage for you your personal improvement. This was also the song we used to introduce the new members and also the song for which our guitar player Sheena actually wrote her first guitar solo. No. <laughs> <laughs> Ho aperto Instagram e ero nel panico. Infatti ci ho messo un bel po' prima di aprire il messaggio perché ho visto l'anteprima ed ero terrorizzata da questa cosa. Poi è venuto fuori dopo tante chiacchiere, un caffè, delle brioche al pistacchio che ero voluta in questo gruppo. E quando sono venuta qui a registrare i, i miei soli, Giada ci ha preparato un buonissimo strudel con il gelato alla vaniglia. Ottimo. È stato un po' un lavoro di squadra, diciamo. Gli ho fatto delle mie versioni, le ho mandate a Federico. Federico mi ha mandato magari delle correzioni, io le ho riviste nel mio stile. If I think about this song, Niso comes to my mind. This is the very first song I sent to him and I was really amazed by his style when I heard the drums he had written for the song, I was really, you know, speechless because uh, it really managed to make the song powerful and aggressive, but at the same time, very dynamic. I think this song really defines a step forward for the band and for our sound. <laughs> Towards the Sun has a funny story behind it. I took inspiration for the vocal lines from a pop song which is called Rockabye from Clean Bandit. And I have to confess, it's a song I really love and keep it on the soundtrack of my workout. How many fans will I lose with this statement? And even if I am a true metal head since I was a really, really young girl. Towards the Sun was inspired by one of my favorite songs from Iron Maiden, which is Wasted Year and uh, it also brings the carpe diem theme in the lyrics. For the lyrics, it has been really hard to write them. <laughs> Me and Federico also had some fights, we didn't speak to each other for a couple of days and you can imagine Federico when he's angry with his Italian gestures. <laughs> I wanted so badly to express the concept I had in mind about the passing of time. The urgency to do all you can in this short time we have on this earth. So it was one of the first songs we started working on, but one of the less to be completed. I think this song really highlights Jade's vocals. And she definitely sounds more powerful than she did in songs from our previous album. <laughs> Far Beyond was meant to basically be a link with the past. It almost sounds like never ending on steroids. As you maybe remember, we used to name the songs during the pre-production after the name of the characters of Lord of the Rings. Fabian immediately gave me the image of Eowyn, the princess of Rowan. I think it was the perfect song to be used as the first single and the first official video because it really showcased the new members' skills, but at the same time, it was very similar to our old sound. So the purpose of choosing this song as the first official video was actually to tell people, hey people, we are still Frozen Crown, we're just better than before. 
Federico mi aveva mandato una sua versione per la solo di Far Beyond che io ho rivisitato ho, come dicevo nel Q&A ho scomposto le scale le ho messe in orizzontale sulla tastiera le ho fatte in tapping lo sweep ad esempio l'ho fatto pensando a una solo dei bullet for my valentine ce l'avevo proprio in testa e ho suonato quello che avevo in testa era screaming fire the lyrics for this song were inspired by the movie interstellar by christopher nolan and also by the poem by dylan thomas mentioned in the same movie you know the the title the lone stranger pretty much recalls Uh, songs like uh, The Loneliness of the Long Distance Runner or uh, Afraid to Shoot Strangers or uh, Stranger in a Strange Land. As you know, we are, first of all, music enthusiasts, so writing songs, to me specifically, is also a way to get in touch with the things that actually inspired me during my life. Iron Maiden had a great impact on me, those songs really had a great impact on me, and I love to show my roots. I wrote the lyrics of this song during the latest month of 2020, during the lockdown. I wanted to express the solitude the isolation of the time, the lone stranger, because when we are walking through the streets wearing a face mask, we are looking suspiciously at people who cross our road. We are kept separate from these barriers. We are so close, but we are kept apart by fear. I'm really proud of the guitar solo of this song, that for sure. Remember, you know, it's, I think it's one of my favorites from the album. Crown Eternal is my favorite song of the album. I'm very tied to it because for me it's somehow The Shield Maiden Part 2. Actually the lyrics talk about the same character, this warrior woman who goes through a lot of battles, who goes through a long journey and in the end she gets better every day with every experience she has to face. Crown Eternal is a very important song on the album. In my opinion, it really represents the trademark Frozen Crown sound. If I had to summarize the Frozen Crown sound with just one song, it would be Crown Eternal. And this is also the reason why the song was originally called Frozen Crown. Then, only later, when uh, we were about to you know, finalize the track list, we decided to change the name to Crown Eternal. I don't uh, really feel like I'm uh, a lead uh, guitar player because I really like and enjoy to play rhythm parts. And for example, I can't wait to play live songs like uh, Crown Eternal because they have a funny and interesting riff to play. <laughs> I think this is a very interesting song. I really love Nizo's drumming. It really made an amazing job. And I think this is the first song in the album where you can really see his potential. He is really shining. The Water Dancer talks about Arya Stark from Game of Thrones. She is definitely my favorite character. She's an unconventional lady. She owns a small sword called Needle and she learns the water dance since the beginning of her story, which is this style of fighting with the sword. Right after, she has to witness the killing of her father. She has been kidnapped. She discovered that also her brother and her mother have been killed, but she decided to go through a journey to become a faceless man, to learn to be silent and deadly killer. At the end of all her journey she comes back to her hometown and she fights against the enemies that killed her family and also the undead that come from the north. She never loses the focus on her targets, on her goals and she does everything is needed to achieve them. It's stato molto bello quando per la storia di Water Dancer di cui tra l'altro io ho scritto questa solo, posso dire, mentre aspettavo di a prendermi, yeah, posso dirlo, ok? Dire. Stavo aspettando di, posso dire, degli amici allora. Il 
ha scritto molto velocemente, in mezz'ora, un'oretta, sono venuta a registrarlo, che tra l'altro Federico non l'aveva neanche sentito, e gli è piaciuto, e poi abbiamo aggiunto cose insieme, abbiamo armonizzato, abbiamo suonato insieme in quel momento, ed è stato molto bello. As you know, Federico has also other bands, and one of those is called Volturian. Volturian is a modern metal band with Federica Lanna as singer. I had the pleasure to sing a song with them in their debut album Crimson. The song is called In a Heartbeat, and by the way, the video has been released a couple of weeks ago, so go and check it out. For me, it has been a great pleasure to work again with my friend Federica Lanna for this song, and while this song was taking shape, it was immediately clear that it was the right song to cooperate again together. My favorite second track from this album is uh, Angels in Disguise and it's really funny because uh, most people think <laughs> that the second singer is actually me but it's not me. <laughs> is uh, Federica Lanna from Volturian. I really love the contrast between our voices. They are so different one to the other. You know, we are also in our appearance like yin and yang, blonde and dark. Now let's have Federica tell you something about our collaboration. No, guarda, difficilissimo. Prima di tutto perché è logorroico. Cioè, parla, 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 parla. È polemico. Pesante come la pietra di Bismantova. E poi si incazza. Si incazza continuamente. È un consiglio. Non toccare mai il suo cibo. Ok, that was the wrong video, I guess. Maybe this one. Hi guys, I'm Federica from Volturian. I'm always really excited to work with Federico and with all the other Frozen Crown members because we have created this kind of extended family in which we support each other and it's amazing considering that our work is usually so competitive. There are a lot of inner struggles and uh, working back to back with your colleagues is amazing and it gives you the chance to do and give always your very best. I've talked about the, the concept behind Angels in Disguise with uh, Federico and I'm really fascinated by the fact that me and Jada can put together our skills, our different vocals, uh, look and personalities to tell a story. This time in particular, the first image that came into my mind was the story behind a movie that I truly adore. It's a uh, Silent Hill. It was like we were representing the two personalities of the same human being, like Alyssa and Sharon. And I thought, gosh, it's so perfect. It was probably the very first song I played with my first cover band when I was a little kid. I think it's my favorite song from the Painkiller album, maybe together with the Hell Patrol. Working on Nightcrawler has been really, really exciting for me because I could took out my evil part, my spooky part. I could experiment with some more aggressive sides of me. You know, I've always been a metalhead since I was young. I've always loved classic metal so it has been a pleasure for me to celebrate this song we really tried many different tunings rehearsed the song a lot of time before actually finding the right tuning for Jade vocals to actually shine and I think I really love her interpretation of this song it was very evil she had that kind of evil sounding mood you know I think the way Jade actually performed that song was incredible as a fan of the original version, I'm really digging this one more. I worked a lot on the tuning of this song. Actually, after trying many tunes, many different approaches, I decided to record it one step higher than the original. Because there, my voice could give the exact power I had in mind, the perfect interpretation I wanted to give it. And I had a lot of fun on the spoken part. I also love the spoken part, that's perfect. That reminds me of some Cradle of Filth songs. I like to consider this a proper song rather than an intro or a filler, you know, that's the reason why it has its own name. The song title really comes from some childhood memories, you know, songs like uh, The Forest Whispers My Name by Cradle of Filth, 
again our um, Talking of the Trees which was uh, a song by In Earth which actually were Children of Bodom at the very beginning this song is really inspired by the Burzum album which no, this is not the, the right pronunciation um, I think I'm, I'm going to write it here this album was uh, very important for me I really grew up listening to it it really helped me uh, during some really dark periods of my life. If you think it's just made with no guitars, no bass, no drums, it's just incredible. It really managed to bring you in a, another dimension, dark forest, you know, the same that is on the amazing album cover. I really love that and I could even tell that album was actually responsible of the color and the mood that actually formed the Winterbane art. <laughs> Blood on the Snow is an articulated song that gave me the chance to work on the vocal lines with a different mood. I decided to create some darker vocal lines, they are more gothic than usual, and it also gave me the chance to pick out of my closet some lyrics I wrote many years ago when I was diving deep into my darker feelings. Blood on the Snow is the last song on the album and it brings on the tradition just like Nether Storm on The Fallen King and the title track from Crowning Frost it's the heavier on the whole album and it's also the longest at the same time it also has some sort of progressive elements uh, this really comes from Opeth you know, especially albums like Orchid or Morning Rise Blood on the Snow together with the Crown Eternal and maybe even more than that song is really where Nizo actually shines with his drumming. I was really amazed when I listened to his first drum ideas for this song. Really complex and articulated but at the same time they serve the song so well and uh, they are actually functional to the melody. This kind of approach is pretty rare amongst drummers. It's not easy to find a drummer with this specific mindset. It's a very professional approach, you know. So that's the reason why Nizo surprised me, also because of his very young age. Um, but that's of course thanks to his very wide musical influences and also to the fact he is a very clever guy. So that's the reason behind his clever drumming. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And of course, remember to share it with your friends. Remember to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And to check our official store, frozencrown.bigcartel.com for a lot of exclusive merchandise. See you soon. Bye. Zion!